Item number, SCP-516, Object Class, Safe, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-516 may be kept in an anomalous vehicle containment bay. Routine vehicle maintenance should be carried out on a bi-weekly basis. SCP-516 is not to be provided with fuel or ammunition, except under controlled testing circumstances. Following Incident 516-1A. No personnel with a history of military service should be assigned to SCP-516. Description SCP-516 is a standard model T-55 main battle tank. Records indicate it was manufactured in 19... at... plant, Kharkiv, Ukrainian SSR, and that it had a normal period of service in the armed forces of... It exhibits wear and tear consistent with its age. The only part of SCP-516 which is known to exhibit anomalous properties is its main armament. Presently, a 100mm D-10 tank gun and turret assembly, from here designated as SCP-516-1. However, as SCP-516-1 has been replaced several times throughout SCP-516's service life without any apparent effects, its anomalous properties seem to be inherent to SCP-516. When loaded with compatible 100mm ammunition, SCP-516-1 exhibits a limited degree of autonomy. When an entity attempts to damage SCP-516, SCP-516-1 will track and fire on it if it is physically possible to neutralize the threat, regardless of whether SCP-516 is crude. It will not respond to threats outside its range or traverse such as aircraft. This phenomenon only occurs if the entity possesses reasonable means to damage SCP-516. For example, SCP-516-1 will not fire on a person attempting to attack SCP-516 with their fists. SCP-516-1 may be operated manually, but is selective about its targets. In general, it will only permit its operator to fire on non-living targets non-sapient biological targets, or armed humans. Under these circumstances, it will fire as a normal armament piece. If a target does not satisfy these conditions, essentially being an unarmed sapient being, SCP-516-1 will jam. Attempts to prevent jamming through maintenance or parts replacement have failed. SCP-516 appears to go to extra lengths to prevent injury to unarmed humans deliberately placing shots from SCP-516-1 to avoid collateral damage. When operated manually, SCP-516-1 places a higher priority on preserving unarmed life than eliminating armed targets. It will jam if directed to fire upon a group of persons, of which only some members are armed. It should be noted that none of SCP-516's other armaments exhibit these properties and appear to be perfectly normal. SCP-516 was brought to the attention of the Foundation in 2000 when it was slated to be broken up for scrap. Due to a bureaucratic oversight, ammunition had not been removed from SCP-516-1, causing it to open fire with several casualties. The ensuing government investigation was noted by Foundation operatives, and it was thought worthwhile to take SCP-516 into custody. Addendum 516-1 an upgrade to Euclid status is being considered, in light of Incident 5161A, as this lends credence to Dr. R's theory that the SCP may be sentient in some form. Additional security measures have been approved for SCP-516's containment. Incident 5161A Synopsis During routine testing of SCP-516, SCP-516-1 immediately fired upon a group of unarmed personnel in range as soon as it was loaded with ammunition, leading to the death of two D-Class personnel, D-505, D-596, and one Foundation officer, Agent Subsequent investigation showed that D-596, one of the casualties, had attained his D-Class status following a criminal conviction for treason against his native country. D-596 previously held the English equivalent rank of Sergeant in the Armed Forces, 
from which SCP-516 was acquired. No other possible links to SCP-516 with D-596 or the other casualties have been found at this stage. This marks the first time SCP-516 has attacked unarmed personnel. Further investigation and safety precautions are warranted. Addendum 516-2 SCP-516 Testing Log This is the testing log for SCP-516. All tests were carried out on the site firing range. Unless otherwise specified, standard testing conditions were as follows. 1 F412 100mm high explosive round loaded. Crew of 4 Foundation personnel trained in operation of SCP-516. SCP-516 placed in hardened bunker with firing slit to reduce severity of potential damage to SCP. Target placed at a distance of 1,000 meters from SCP-516 with a clear line of sight. Ammunition loaded once target was placed at 1,000 meters distance. Testing Log 516-1A Target Cardboard cutout of human Result No activity from SCP-516 SCP-516-1 fired manually Target destroyed Testing Log 516-1B Target 1 D-Class personnel D-1151 Unarmed No instructions Result no activity from SCP-516. SCP-516-1 fired manually. SCP-516-1 jammed. Testing Log 516-1C Target 1 D-Class Personnel D-1470 Given Steak Knife No Instructions Result No activity from SCP-516. SCP-516-1 fired manually. SCP-516-1 jammed. Testing Log 516-1D Target 1 D-Class Personnel D-951 Given 9mm Pistol No Instructions Result No activity from SCP-516 SCP-516-1 fired manually. Target destroyed. Testing Log 516-1E Target 1 D-Class Personnel D-800 Given 9mm Pistol Instructed to approach SCP-516 and open fire Result No activity from SCP-516 SCP-516-1 fired manually Target destroyed Testing Log 516-1F Target 1 D-Class Personnel D-820 Given shoulder-fired anti-tank weapon no instructions. Result. No activity from SCP-516. SCP-516-1 fired manually. Target destroyed. Testing Log 516-1G. Target. 1D Class Personnel D-185 Given shoulder-fired anti-tank weapon Instructed to approach SCP-516 and fire. Result. SCP-516-1 autonomously fired on target. Target destroyed. Testing Log 516-1H Target 1 D-Class Personnel D-202 Given shoulder-fired anti-tank weapon placed in lead-lined box on trolley. D-202 instructed to approach SCP-516. Open box and fire. Result SCP-516-1 autonomously fired on target as target bent to open box. Target destroyed. Note: It appears SCP-516 can detect both hostile intent and concealed weapons. Could be valuable as a security device. Dr. Testing Log 5161I Target 2D Class Personnel D-455 D-501 Handcuffed together D-455 given shoulder-fired anti-tank weapon Instructed to approach SCP-516 And fire Result SCP-516-1 autonomously fired approximately 50 meters to the right of D-455 D-455 killed by an 8cm shrapnel wound to the head D-501 sustained minor injuries 
Testing Log 5161J Target 2 D Class Personnel D101 D521 Handcuffed together 2 kilograms of C4 plastic explosive strapped to D101 Instructed to approach SCP-516 and detonate explosives. D-101 fitted with Dead Man's Switch to induce explosion if D-101 is killed. Result. As Dr. detailed instructions to D-101, SCP-516 data expunged. Testing Log 5161K Test Circumstances Standard shell replaced by SCP-157 ARC. Target 1D Class Personnel D-185 Given shoulder-fired anti-tank weapon Instructed to approach SCP-516 And fire Result SCP-157 ARC changed into data expunged Upon being loaded into SCP-516-1 Data expunged Leading to the death of D-185 As well as several further casualties Dr who proposed Test 5161K, was reprimanded and transferred. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-515, Sleeper, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.